Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today, I'm going to be doing an all signs reading. We're going to go from Aries all the way to Pisces. I'm going to take a look at who is coming towards you. I'm going to use some of my Oracle cards as well as my tarot to clarify. Um, keep in mind that my readings are general. If you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, click on the description box below for my website information and how to book a reading with me. We're going to start with Aries. Who's coming towards Aries? <clears throat> Who is coming towards Aries, Spirit? Aries. This person could be a Virgo, doesn't have to be, but they could be spending a lot of time on their own at the moment. It looks like with the Seven of Cups, they have a lot of things going on in their life. Um, let's see, what are their intentions with Aries? I'm going to clarify that further in a second. Their intentions towards you... moving away feel like they're stuck on you they're not moving away it's the opposite it's them being stuck on you wanting to possibly move away but not being able to so their intentions is to stay put actions I feel like they watch you, Aries. This person does definitely keep an eye on you and they might even give you gifts. So this person coming towards you, I feel like they might like to shop a lot. They might like to spend money. I feel like this person's a little bit of a loner. They don't really have a lot of friends with the hermit card being there. Um, I don't feel like they want to move away from you. I feel like they're stuck on you. That's the energy that this is giving me, someone who is stuck on you. I feel like you're going to, their actions is the Six of Cups, Page of Swords. So they're going to give you some gifts or they're going to watch you or both. I feel like they're going to kind of see when the right time is to like go in there and give you something. Let me clarify their energy. The Hermit and the Seven of Cups. Aries, this person is stuck on you. It, they cannot move on from you is the energy that they're bringing. But the devil's also there. So that means that they might be manipulating you into thinking that they can't move on from you. Um, I feel like this is either someone you already know. It could be like a boss type figure. It could be a literal person at work. It doesn't have to be. But it's somebody who does stand in their power. I feel like they're a little hard-headed. It, it gives me the energy of like a refusal to move on because this isn't that it's hard for them to move on. It's like they refuse to move on. They're not really. Now, this is somebody you probably already know. And if this is someone new coming into your life, be careful with that energy because they might, might get super clingy. Their intentions is to not move on. That's their intention. I don't see that being with, uh, with love in their heart. I see that more being a mental struggle that they have. I'm not saying anything about mental health, by the way. I'm just saying that like their thoughts about you keep you there. Keep them there. I feel like this person communicates with you regularly with the Queen of Swords coming up. I also feel like they could be waiting on you for some kind of a uh, something. It's like they're waiting on communication from you with the strength and the nine of swords. There's in their intentions, they're worrying about how to make this happen. It's a little bit of an obsessive energy. Clarify the six of cups and the page of swords.
This could be someone you know at the workplace with the Eight of Pentacles coming out. Doesn't need to be, but I feel like that could be for some of you. For others of you, this is a person that is really trying to get your attention with the Knight of Cups. I feel like this person has a sad energy. There is a sadness to them. I don't know what it is. I, it feels like they're afraid to miss an opportunity with you. However, their energy is not good to come in with in the first place. What other energy do they have? Clarify their energy a little bit more. What's this person's energy coming into Aries life? It could be somebody you already know. If I'm describing a person you already know, then yeah, that's them. Grass is greener and player. So this person's manipulative. And I feel like they have a jealous nature. So you'll know that because this energy here tells me that they might talk about other people behind their back. It does say here that you deserve better. So this is not your match. This person has options, definitely. And the snake card popped out. Deception, shady, temptation, enemy. Don't trust this person coming in. Um, for a lot of you, you already know who this is. That's what I'm getting for that. Now, what else can you tell me about this person? What their intentions? What is their intentions? They don't want to move on from you, that's for sure. This person can travel. Um, they could be at a distance from you. I also feel like they might want to travel with you. I feel like they might want to go somewhere with you. But their intentions here is gossip. I feel like this person could be that manipulative. Like, yeah, this person talks too much. That's what the hell that tells me there. Give me another card for their intentions. I feel like this person is going to try to get people around you to maybe like them childlike in a sense fun this person's a little immature that's what i'm seeing because i was clarifying the gossip card i feel like they also give off I, I didn't do anything wrong kind of a vibe that is what i'm getting with this person do i have an outcome Not an outcome. Advice. Any advice for Aries when it comes to this connection? Any advice? Wrong deck. Noted. You want me to pull advice from this deck? Advice for Aries when it comes to this connection? Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. I feel like you're in a place where you feel good about yourself at the moment. Self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. I feel like that's you. I don't really feel like that's them. Unavailable. This person, this person is unable to give you all you deserve. You did get some, well, they got some pretty negative energy coming towards you. So if I were you, I would look the other way with that. Just some advice, Aries. We are going to move on. Moving on to Taurus. Who's coming towards you, Taurus? Who's coming towards Taurus?
somebody very focused on their work and I don't really feel like they're coming towards you necessarily. They might be waiting for you to come towards them. Intentions. That was the Empress card. So I'm not sure if that's their intentions. Intentions for Taurus. What's this person's intentions towards Taurus? They might owe you an apology. King of Wands. I feel like this person wants to be single. I don't feel like they have intentions on making things right with you with the Justice card and the Nine of Swords. They might want you to make things right with them. I don't know. Actions towards you. We're going to clarify all this in a second. This person is like so wishy-washy. It's like they might, okay, their energy is focusing on their money. They're focusing on themselves at the moment. And then it's like they want to make things right. But with the Nine of Swords, they, they're not taking much action towards it. I feel like they hold back from you. They might give you energy and then hold it. You might be dealing with a Leo, a Libra. Um, I didn't call signs for the last one. That's all right. Let's see. Let's clarify the three of wands and the eight of pentacles. Hmm. seems like this person is probably waiting for you to approach them and then they might go ahead and approach you and I feel like it's because they're very attracted to you. I'm seeing a very big attraction that they have towards you. Clarify their intentions. feel like their intentions are more physical than they are anything else. I feel like this person has no intention on becoming too close to you. It's more of a physical connection for them. Um, there could be distance between you and this person at the moment, which they're not crazy about. I feel like they want to have an eye on you somehow for whatever reason. And then the five of wands comes up as their intention. So I, I feel like this person likes drama. I feel like this person likes to stir things up. Maybe even to keep you engaged. Their actions, clarify their actions. Wishy washy. Same thing I said. It's like they could be defensive towards you and then they could act like they wanted you to start with you and they don't. And for me to say that, it's like, you might already know who this person is coming towards you, definitely. I don't feel like this is a new person, even though the fool's coming out. So is the devil. It's coming out right next to them. So they might try to be the type of person to be like, let's start fresh, whatever this is, because their intentions aren't good with the five of wands being here. It's just not. How else can we describe this person to Taurus? How else? What other energy do they have? What's their energy? Home, surrender, and heartbreak. So I feel like this person could be... Mm, Maybe in the process of moving, um, I feel like you already know who this person is. There's hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment with this card here, with the heartbreak card. This could be someone who you plan to have a future with, with home. It could be someone you live with. 
doesn't have to be. There could have been plans of that. With surrender, it's like somebody who wants, it's like somebody who is guilt tripping you into wanting things their way. So this is the energy of someone waiting for you to make something happen. Their energy and their intentions towards you are not sincere and they're not solid. This person likes to draw up some drama. So whoever that is. But they might use guilt because that's a very guilty energy. Their intentions. Ice queen and passion. See that? Ice queen and passion. They, they're going to keep a cold a cold demeanor. There's distance there. They don't want to get too emotionally involved, but they do want to sleep with you. That's what I'm getting from that. But they do want to sleep with you. Any advice for Taurus in this connection? Okay. Any advice for Taurus in this connection? Go slow, take time to get to know each other. Decision, it's time to decide about this relationship. It could be somebody you already know. It could be somebody you already have dealt with, with decision being there. Different pages, you and this person don't share the same vision. So if it's someone you already know, it's a very strong, like, sexual connection a physical connection more than it is anything else they might try to make you feel like it's more but i don't feel like it i feel like this person has that level of toxicity they might jump into things right away is what it's giving me so that is what i get for you taurus Moving on to Gemini. Gemini, who is coming towards you? Who's coming towards Gemini? Somebody who's probably afraid to talk to you at the moment. Who's coming towards Gemini? Well, I see fast communication. I see maybe even travel for this person. So they might be at a distance from you. Ten of Wands is showing me that this person has a lot of responsibility at the moment, a lot of burdens, a lot of things on their mind, a lot of things that they're taking care of. Let me see the in intentions towards Gemini. I don't feel like there's intentions on working anything out. So it might be somebody you're not speaking to at the moment. They might get want to get back into speaking terms with you. This is someone you're not speaking to at the moment. And I'm seeing them trying to work things out with you. So they might want to work things out with you, Gemini. Actions from this person. This person's going to maybe want to take you out. There's communication at the bottom of the deck. It feels like with the Ace of Pentacles, maybe starting fresh, starting more stable. Um, I don't feel like this is love necessarily, but love is coming up with the Knight of Cups. So it's like maybe an apology coming towards you. This person has intentions on working something out with you here. There's not a lot of bad cards here, Gemini. Tell me more about this person. 
clarify the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. They could be waiting on communication from you, actually. It kind of looks like they're waiting on communication from you, but their intentions is to reunite with you. It is to see you. It is to hang out with you with Three of Cups. It's to have some good times here with you. Um, this person, there might be a third party, so they might be also tied to something else. At the moment, I got a lot of three cards out here, but that's not for all of you. That's for some of you. If you know that that's your situation, then yeah. If you know that that's not your situation, then that's not for you. That's fine. I do feel communication on a more friend level. Their intentions. Clarify the Four of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Definitely a third party in the mix for this one. What the hell? So I got Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, the King of Pentacles. Like, I feel like they're very attracted to you. They might want a stable new start here with you. This is somebody focused intens intensely on that pentacle. Um, let me get two more cards. I feel like this is like too many people involved. They could have a lot of people around them. feel like they're very attracted to you. You do get the Knight of Wands on their energy. I feel like um, they feel like they missed the good times between you and them. I feel like they want to nurture this relationship back to health, whatever that means. However, they might be reflecting on actions they've taken on in the past towards you. Um, there's a lot of passion here that they have clarify their actions towards you they're doing a lot of thinking you're gonna get communication from them i feel like they're very very attracted to you i feel like they're very attracted to you um they see you as a very loving person they see you as very um wow you got all the queens out here i feel like this person also gets a lot of attention on their own so they have a lot of things going on in their life um, but they think about you the most. So whatever that means for you. Definitely looking for some kind of reunion here. All right. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person coming towards Gemini. They could be darker complected than you also. Doesn't have to be. Social media. Mystery. Oh, this person watches you online. This person watches you online. Definitely. That's how you know. Let me get one more card. between the lines so this person might give you clues as to how they feel about you but i'm getting a friendship vibe so it could be that they're hiding their real feelings what else can you tell me about their intentions friendship remember i said that friendship vibe their intentions Ice queen to stay emotionally detached. Union. What in the world? This person thinks of you more than a friend. However, they're only going to approach you with friendship. They do want to reconcile with you is what I'm getting with union. So I really do feel like this person misses you. What's the advice for Gemini? advice for Gemini with this connection. Mm 
I feel like this is a very dark view of me. Like I gotta be this much closer so you can see my face, but support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Children, children are important to this partnership. Here and now, your true love is already part of your life. Somebody you already know. You may have a lot of feelings for this person. And they have a lot of feelings for you. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. So go slow. That's what it's telling me. Go slow with that energy. Moving on to Cancer. Who's coming in for Cancer? Who's coming in for Cancer? This person looks to be leaving a previous connection behind. Let me see their intentions towards cancer. Wow, those are really nice intentions. I feel like they have a lot of feelings for you. Queen of Pentacles is somebody who wants to nurture something. Let's see their actions. A lot of times people's actions don't match their intentions, but I hope for this one they do. I don't see them taking much action. I, I see them kind of being a little stuck, making the decision not to take action is actually what comes up. Hmm. Clarify the Eight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. I got to get closer to this. That's what I think I'm going to do. There you go. You can see me. It's like I'm in the dark. It's not dark in here. I just don't have the correct lighting, I guess you can say. I'll fix that next time. <laughs> I feel like they're not in a place where they want something right now. They could be leaving a very bad situation behind. Um, however, their intentions are very nice, even though their current energy is dealing with the aftermath of something else. Their intentions is they have a physical connection to you. They are very attracted to you. I feel like they just want to hang out and have a good time and see where it goes. Um, I do feel like they have feelings for you, honestly. They see you as a very nurturing person is what I'm seeing here. They want to take things slow. Mm. They want to take love slow, but they wouldn't mind like getting physical with you. So that's all up to you. Their actions. They're going to like you a lot more than you think. I feel like after a period of them stopping themselves from coming towards you, they might just come towards you. It's kind of like what it's showing me. They might just go ahead and come towards you. Um, there is a lot of attraction that they have towards you, definitely. I'm going to have to fix this camera. It is very, very dark. Sorry. 
they're gonna be all up in my face so it's just gonna have to be this way for now because i'm noticing it and i look super dark in this video and it just is what it is at this point not restarting <laughs> so there you go give me another card for their actions they're very attracted to you they might not be in a place that they want too much of an emotional connection like i said they're leaving something behind but it's like that energy of but i'm willing to see where it'll go the lovers they're gonna take action towards you and at first they're not so it's showing me that they're not and then they're going to come right at you so let's see the energy that they have What is this person's energy towards cancer? Party and regret. They're going through something and they're probably going to sugarcoat it like they're okay is what I'm saying. It's, it's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, that's what I want to say. They're going to probably make it seem like they're okay. And you can tell because their actions are not matching exactly with where they're at in life. New love, somebody you don't know yet. Somebody you don't know yet. You might meet this person through friends. What else can you tell me about their intentions towards cancer? This person might have children, doesn't need to be that. I feel like they want to have like fun. They just want to have fun right now. Um, past life here, it's like you're going to get an intuition about them. You're going to see how they might be struggling with something that they're getting over obstacles is always um a good sign that they're getting through something at the moment they're going through something that's what i'm getting any advice for cancer with this connection the advice for cancer with this connection i don't see them having bad intentions i don't i don't see cards of bad intentions here Oof. warning don't dismiss <clears throat> Don't dismiss the red flags. As I said, I don't see bad intentions. I do see them going through something in their own life that is a red flag for you because you don't want them to suck you into whatever they're going through. They need to go through that and process that on their own. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. Time apart, some distance will help bring clarity. Obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Obstacles. Obstacles. Okay. There's regret here. So this person is not ready for what you have to offer. It's a new person. For some of you, it could be an old person, but I do got the new love card here. So I don't feel like it's someone you know currently. It's someone you're going to meet soon. Maybe even through friends. Let's move on. Now this is really close to my face. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that that really changed the perspective on this on this phone. Just saying. Okay. Leo. Who's coming in for Leo? What's the energy of the person coming in for Leo? Am I shaking the camera now because it's on the table and I always shake the table when I'm shuffling on it? Ooh, 
this person is obsessed with you, Leo. Intentions towards Leo. That is so contradictory. I feel like this person is very sexually attracted to you. Actions. I feel like this person watches you. Obsessed. Like they watch you a lot. This person watches your social media. They do something like that. They watch you. Maybe even they, they might do more than just watch you. They might pleasure themselves. I feel like this person is very sexually attracted to you. What their intentions is the King of Cups and the King of Swords. So they have love for you, but I don't think they they're going to show it. I think they have every intention of keeping all that to themselves. Um, action towards you is the nine of cups and the star. So I do feel like they're going to come towards you. I feel like they might want to take you out for some drinks, hang out with you, maybe a date at night. Seven of swords just came out along with the high priestess. So I feel like this person's a little secretive. I feel like this person's a little secretive. Let's clarify the devil and the page of swords. This person could be very, very focused on other people's attention. I feel like they're very popular. I feel like they got they get a lot of attention. I feel like um, they're focused on recognition somehow. I feel like, I don't know. What the heck? What is that? This person could be at a distance. Let me get some more cards for that. person's younger than you it could be a capricorn i feel like this person might be a serial dater i feel like this person might go from relationship to relationship they start pretty new there's heartbreak here for them they are going through something but they're not seeing it they're not doing the healing for it so i feel like they may have gotten away from a different situation and they just jumped right into you um i'm seeing them Kind of like want a distraction. King of Swords and King of Cups. Intentions. They're going to act like they have all these feelings for you. And I'm not seeing it come through. I'm seeing it be kind of fake. Five of Swords does come out. So this person doesn't intake. In, uh, I can't talk. Blah, blah. Okay. This person doesn't intend to stick around. This person is very set in their ways, whoever they are. They're like a serial dater. It's like they fall hard and strong really quick with someone. And then it, it doesn't work out. They don't have intentions on anything except for what makes them feel good. They do have really bad cards for their intentions. It's the 10 of swords, the five of swords and the emperor. Um, they don't, they're not into changing. So if this is somebody you think you already know, and no, they're not going to change. They might tell you they are, but their actions will show you that they won't. They might want to take you out. They might want to go on a date. However, <clears throat> I feel like this person is the type of person always have like that petty way of communicating like maybe they like to instigate it's like an instigating energy um i feel like this person likes to push your buttons so if you're the type of person that likes that you know i know i don't somebody tries to push my buttons they pretty much pushed them already with that energy how else will i know who this person is coming in for cancer how else will i know how else will cancer I'm sorry, Leo. How else will Leo know? 
store morning drama proposal i'm telling you they're coming at you because they don't know how to how to be by themselves it's gonna be this gives me very narcissistic energy intentions let me do intentions with this one intentions Money, family, I feel like this person is more interested in themselves. They're interested in their finances. Family and mature woman, they, they like the attention that you get. It's like they want the attention that you get. I don't know if this person is jealous of the attention you get or what, but that's the energy that they're giving me. What is the advice for Leo? Balance, one person is giving too much in this relationship. Don't let this person love bomb you. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. So if you have somebody who's love bombing you, go ahead and detach from that person that's not healthy. Um, yeah, so that's what I have for you, Leo. I'm going to take a really quick pause.
kicked off that whole time. So Virgo, I'm going to start Virgo's reading here. I didn't realize I was talking with this mic off because I, I had to do something real quick. And then when I came back, the mic was off. So sorry. So let me tell you about this person. Virgo, let me tell you about this person. I already pulled out all the cards. Let me tell you, this person is very attracted to you. I'm getting that they're younger than you. Their intentions here is to just maybe talk. There could be distance between you and them. Um, I feel like they're younger than you. If they're not younger than you um, in age, they're younger than you in maturity. This person is contemplating um, commitment. I don't feel like they're in a place where they want commitment. Their actions towards you is not really taking action. I feel there's like, a lot of confusion. They're going to keep you confused, Virgo. They're going to keep you confused. I'm mad at myself for having this mic off for those past five minutes, but <laughs> it happens. It happens to me quite a bit. Um, I feel like you're going to get communication from this person very soon. They're the type of person that's always doing something. They always have something on their mind. I feel like they might also be juggling between you and somebody else with the two of pentacles being there. There's an indecision. They are still focused on something from their past, something maybe committed from their past. So if you know that they were married or something like that, I feel like they're still focused on that. And it doesn't look like they want to go forward with anything loving here because of it. Their actions are not letting a new start happen. Their actions are um, being mysterious, keeping secrets, kind of like keeping you in the dark about certain things. Um, and then I started to use this love oracle deck to clarify their energy even more. And I get crossroads. So they're definitely trying to make decisions in their life. Third party, they could be focused on somebody from their past or someone they're trying to move away from. However, I don't see them doing it necessarily. They're just kind of holding their position and then social media. So this is someone that you can connect with on social media. What else for their intentions? Okay. They're too invested into someone in their past to let anything happen here because I get short term and past love. So they're very much still contemplating the past relationship that they were in, still not ready for something new. That's the person coming towards you. However, they're still going to offer something to you because they're attracted to you. So I feel like it's more physical for them. I'm not saying that, oh my gosh, this person's just wants to sleep with you. That is it. That's all I see. But when someone's not over someone in their past, that's pretty much all this person has to offer. It's not that this person is trying to use you. It's that this person's not ready for anything. I would not recommend you waiting around for this person. I don't see it happening. I see this person keeping themselves stuck on purpose. So let me get some advice for Virgo. Different pages, you and this person don't share the same vision. Play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So it's fine to keep this person as a friend if you want. It doesn't feel like it's going to be anything more than that. Rejection, this rejection is actually divine protection. This person doesn't have what you, what you need. And that's what I got for you, Virgo. Moving on to Libra. I'm wondering where my phone is. My actual phone. I feel like it's going to ring. <laughs> no, I don't think I turned off the ringer. I don't think I have it. I do not disturb or anything like that right now. Okay, moving on to Libra. What's going on with Libra? Who's coming towards Libra? I'm 
I'm traumatized. Let me make sure this mic is still on. It is. Cool. Who's coming towards Libra? Somebody who's probably struggling with their finances at the moment. What are their intentions with Libra? You might already know this person. I feel like this person with temperance and the hermit, I feel like they might have intentions that kind of keeping to themselves a little bit. They could be healing from something at the moment. They might want to heal something with you. And their actions is a Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups. So definitely wanting to hang out, wanting to see you, wanting to go out, um, wanting to have fun. I don't get this as being a very, very serious energy. This person's probably intending on healing. There's healing here for them. I don't know. They could be going through something very heavy. Um, their energy is sad. This person's sad over something. I don't know. Give me more clarification on the Queen of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. They feel like they might want to rekindle a friendship or something here. I am getting someone here either, if you know this person already, they might want to reunite with you. They might want to meet up with you. They might want to see you and reconnect. And the Two of Cups is here. Two of Cups, I don't necessarily see it as romance, romance. I kind of see it as a friendship or a love, like a family love or a friend love. It doesn't necessarily mean romance, even though that is kind of what I'm aiming for. I feel like this person maybe wants to get on back on the same page with you is what it feels like. Let me see their intentions. I feel like they're going through a lot of healing right now. Their intentions is to reunite. I feel like they want to heal this connection. So you already know this person. This could be somebody who walked out on you in the past and they're coming back in to heal this connection. Um, there is reunion energy here. There's a lot of cups coming out in the intention and six of pentacles. Their actions. This is the thing though, this person and you, okay, if you already know this person, I feel like you don't trust this person and you shouldn't. So this person may have went through something. They probably left you before. They're probably trying to come back around and rekindle stuff with you, but it doesn't feel welcomed and it doesn't feel long-term. It kind of gives me that feeling like it's, this is how they feel right now. This is not necessarily how they're going to continue to feel. I feel like this person's inconsistent with their energy towards you because they could be, I'm not going to say necessarily using emo emotional manipulation, but if you know that this person is capable of that, then that's what this is. Some of you guys could even live with this person. doesn't have to be everyone. It's not going to be everyone. Um, I feel like this person has a level of secrecy to them. So they're not planning on opening up fully. It's just let's go out and have a good time. And I feel like that's the energy this person has. They, their actions is have a good time. They might communicate that they want more. It doesn't have to be that. Maybe they just want to reunite as friends and just hang out as friends. They do have feelings for you. However, they don't have the energy or the consistency to do anything about those feelings. So. 
let me see their energy towards you with this deck. What else can you tell me about this person for Libra? I also feel like this person plans the way that they're going to come towards you. It's not very genuine, genuine. It's very planned. So I don't know if um, this person was afraid to approach you in the past. Divine intervention. So something happened here where you guys stopped talking. Break up. Mm -hmm. This person is someone from your past, Libra. Text message. You're going to hear from them that way. So it's definitely somebody you communicate with more either um, online social messaging or just text message. Uh, this could be something that didn't work out for you in the past. Maybe you guys had intentions on bringing something together here and it just didn't work. Um, I feel like this person has maybe gone through some shit since that happened. And now they're popping up again after learning some lessons. Let me see their intentions here with Libra. gifts feel like they might want to give you gifts probably to try to lighten the load a little bit of their um <laughs> they might want to sleep with you i don't know necessarily in communication they definitely want to hang out they definitely want like maybe uh, I don't feel that this person's consistent when it comes to anything that's not passion based. I feel like um, they might confuse passion with love. They don't have consistent energy like that. Um, person has feelings for you, though. For some of you, this is emotional manipulation. For others of you, this is somebody who's hiding their feelings from you and you know it. So it's somebody who's not honest about their feelings. Somebody not honest about their feelings. What is the advice for Libra? I feel like I said so much with this. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. I feel like this person had a lot of hard lessons to learn. Patience, everything will, will unfold in divine timing. Here we go again. <laughs> Showing on the fat rolls. Okay, apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. So that's this person owing you some kind of an apology. I feel like they may have left you in the past and they went through hell after doing that. As kind of like their karmic lesson is what it's kind of showing up as. So that's who's coming towards you, Libra. Moving on to Scorpio. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Who's coming towards Scorpio? Well, this person could be a new person with Ace of Cups here, but I don't feel like any, I don't feel like they're coming towards you necessarily. I feel like they might be confused on how to come towards you. I feel like this person's at a standstill right now. They may be having a lot of options also. Um, what's their intentions with Scorpio? 
I feel like they're at a stage where they're trying to figure something out about themselves or trying to figure out what direction to go in with their own life. Their intentions. I feel like they're moving away from something very... I feel like this person wants to focus on being single or maybe even focus on their finances. They had a bad relationship in the past with the six of wands. I mean, six of swords. Actions. I feel like they're holding back communication. So this could be somebody, someone you're not speaking to at the moment. Doesn't have to be. Um, but I am getting them kind of not opening up. This person's not in the place of opening up right now. What else can you tell me about this person coming towards Scorpio? This person could be very financially focused. I feel like they might like to shop a lot. Um, this could be somebody who you had a relationship with at some point. I feel like that could be it for some of you. For others of you, this is someone who is reflecting on their past relationships. If it's not someone you know already, one more for that. This is someone who's defensive. So it could be someone who you had an argument with. Um, I feel like this person doesn't really let their walls down. So take that how it resonates. Let me see their intentions here with Scorpio. They might... They might act like they don't want anything here and they do. Scorpio, this person likes you a lot and they're lying to themselves about it. I feel like they could have went through something in the past that kind of got them shook up. Because they want a new start. They want, they want something new here with you. However, they're not really going to be that open to admitting it. I feel like this person is also in a stage of their life where they're probably spending a lot of time alone. Um, hmm. Actions towards Scorpio. I feel like they're going to hold back communication. They're holding back communication. I feel like if this is someone you know, I feel like they're not open for commitment at the moment. And they're fooling themselves because they do have some kind of feelings here for you. Um, but they're very focused on a solid, like, single type of, it's just me and that's it type of energy. I don't feel like this person is going to take much action towards you or towards commitment in this situation very much. Okay, how else will Scorpio know who this is? I'm getting tired. I should have served myself some iced coffee. Player mm. between the lines. So this person is somebody you probably already know. You could have been in a commitment with this person. I feel like they're just waiting for you to come back around. I feel like this person is very defensive. Um, they could be telling you, now that I'm getting these cards, let me reframe some of what I already said. Yeah, I'm going back on what I said because player in between the lines is telling me that they might want to act like they're brand new with you. Let's start fresh and all this. And I'm doing really good in my finances, but it's not true. It's not true. They're not willing to um, start anything fresh here with you. I, I see a lack of communication and them not wanting commitment. That stays the same. And I'm here thinking that they had feelings for you and it's not that at all. Between the lines of saying that you, you got to really pay attention to that. So they might tell you they have the feelings for you that you might want to hear. 
<clears throat> Five of Swords is saying that they do not party. This person likes to go out with their friends a lot. They like to hang out. They like to do what's best for them, make themselves happy. This person's intentions towards Scorpio. This person's intentions towards Scorpio. <sighs> Family, young female, someone younger than you. Wallflower, immature woman. I feel like this person wants you to approach them. They, they give me the vibe of sometimes they act really mature and other times they do not. So they got both energies. I feel like this is someone that you could have been planning a family with here. Their intentions is not to really get to this limited potential and withholding as also their intentions is to not really open up about things with you, not really give you that. What's the advice for Scorpio with this person? Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. So there might be a lot of physical chemistry here. Doesn't need to be that necessarily. Could also be that you guys keep going back to each other with that and you feel like it's chemistry. Protected, you are safe and divinely guided. Soulmate, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you. This is not your soulmate. Mm -mm. This person does not want commitment with you. This person is not trying to do that. You probably have somebody else in your energy also. Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time, abundance, you've done the work. If this is going to be really good, like, cards as far as, but that's not what I'm seeing necessarily. This is someone who is blocking communication. They are not, they are not opening up to commitment. So take the heart resonates. I don't know if you're dealing with two people or one person. I got mature women. I got young female. I don't know. You're going to have to figure that one out, Scorpio. This one is really confusing for me. <laughs> you could have more than one person in your energy. I also feel like if this is a new person and it's not someone you already know, this person has options. They have options. Moving on to Sagittarius. Who's coming towards Sagittarius? Sagittarius, the person coming towards you could kind of be. Acting like they're focused on their finances at the moment. Mm -mm, they're not. Let me see their intentions towards Sagittarius. I don't feel like, I feel like they might try to offer you some kind of beginning here, but it's, it's not real. I also get another card of, it's the five of swords and the two of swords is clarifying, you know, um, eight of pentacles and five of swords here is telling me that this is somebody who might want to work on something with you. However, they're not. It could be somebody who is lying about their financial status, lying about their job, lying about what it is they do, lying about working on themselves. That could be a lot of things. I'm going to clarify it. But their intentions here is the two of swords and the ace of pentacles. They're not looking for some new stable start but because it's there they could act like they are looking for a stable start but they're not actions towards sagittarius they could see you as finances toxicity man it's like 
an obsessive energy. So this person could be a little obsessed with you with the death card. It could be somebody you've already dealt with. But I am getting like trying to figure out how to move forward with you when uh, they have a very obsessive energy. Let me clarify the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. It could be that this person is struggling with their own finances and they see you as somebody who's really abundant. Oh my gosh, this person has trash energy. Sagittarius, please don't fall for this. Mm. This person is someone who stays stuck in their head. Um, I feel like they're someone that you probably end things with already, with the world being here. This, to me, is an energy you already know. Now, if it's someone you don't know yet, it can be that they're only trying to get financial stability from you. They're not really interested in anything else. If it's someone new, if it's someone old, it's like they might be saying that they want to work something out here and they really don't. They're looking at you like an opportunity. Not to be looked at like an opportunity. I don't mean like, oh, they're Sagittarius. Wow, we have such potential. They're not looking at potential. They're looking at opportunity. They're looking to advance themselves, not both of you. Clarify the Two of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone you could work with. Um, I feel like this person is younger than you. I feel like they might want to some kind of partnership here of some sort. I feel like this person watches your social media like crazy. I don't see progress. So they might say, they might say things to make you feel like, you know, that they might want to work on something here, but I don't see it. I don't see it. They block themselves from actually doing that. This could be someone you work with. This could be somebody you work with. For some of you, I do see travel and I do see distance. So this doesn't have to be someone that you see on a regular basis either. This person has very inconsistent energy. They're in and out of your life. Um, they're here for the good times and then not really there for the bad times when you need them. It's very one-sided, this relationship. And this is somebody who um, they're coming off with very toxic energy. I feel like they could be a player. Um, they could have. They could kind of portray that they're very happy in their life, that they got a lot going for themselves. And not to say that they don't, but their actions towards you aren't noble. Their intentions towards you aren't what they should be. It's, it's a very toxic type of energy of trying to get you to kind of be with them. Um, but they do have the Knight of Wands energy, so very inconsistent. Here today, gone tomorrow. Hmm. What else can you tell me about this person? What else can you tell me about this person? Regret. Snake. Mm, told you. Told you. Too many cards. Ex-lover. This is someone you already know. This is someone you already know trying to come back into your life. Regret and snake. I feel like they could be with regret. They might even apologize to you. Don't believe it. Um, snake and ex-lover. This is just someone who wants to keep you stuck. They want to keep you stuck. You could be doing really good financially also. 
It could be someone you work with, but they, they're just trying to keep you stuck. It just is what it is with regret, snake, and ex-lover. They might even be very apologetic and whatever happened here, they might want to work it out or say they want to work it out, but I don't see them actually starting fresh with you. I see them not doing that, not knowing how. Um, dating, their intentions, something flipped. Gifts, I feel like this person could be a gift giver. Dating and gifts has their intention. However, not an actual new stable start because that's what I'm clarifying. Mature woman, you could be the mature woman. I feel like this person is seeing that you're improving, you're advancing. You don't have to be a woman necessarily. If you're a man, this is you being very mature. This is you being very popular. They like that about you. I feel like they want you to give them stuff. They feel like you're stable enough that you can give them stuff, that you could be the one giving them the, these gifts or taking them out on dates. Like they just want to have that surface level type of thing with you. And I do feel like this is an ex. It does say ex-lover and snake. And I do have the devil out here. Five of swords, seven of swords. This person sucks. This person sucks. Any advice? Marriage. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Do you want that with this person? They might try to get you to believe that. That is not true. This person has no intention on being faithful with that energy I see at the very end with their actions. Absolutely not. Interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. This person's a player. I'm not seeing third party necessarily being the reason for whatever happened here happening. Not to say that it's not the reason, but there's definitely other people in the mix. Definitely other people in the mix. That could be friends. That could be family giving their two cents. Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. And that's what I got for you. Let's move on. Moving on to Capricorn. Moving on to Capricorn. Who's coming in for Capricorn? someone who wants to communicate with you but the three of swords is there so they could be getting over something um let me see their intention towards you capricorn there's secrecy here this could be somebody you already know they, there's not really intentions of much here maybe keeping secrets not opening up keeping to themselves a little bit, their actions. You see their actions towards you. Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, some communication. I feel like this person is younger than you, and I feel like maybe Three of Swords, maybe they're getting over something or trying to get over some heartbreak. doesn't have to be. It could also be that maybe you rejected them in the past. And they're kind of like in their feelings. So take that how it resonates. You can also be, this could also be a Gemini with the Queen of Swords here, um, getting over something in their own past. I feel like that'll be communicated. 
How else do you know who this person is? Okay, so I'm getting like, this could be you or them, but it's, it's feeling like this person is focused on themselves right now. Um, they're focused on their goals and trying to rebuild themselves. So this is somebody who's already had their heart broken in the past. I feel like they're very clear on what it is that they've went through. <clears throat> they are definitely someone focused on their goals, whether that is, um, they're, they're trying to be successful, whatever it is that they're doing. And with the page of cups, they're at the beginning stages. Their intentions here is not really to open up, to kind of keep to themselves. I feel like they're trying to follow their intuition as much as possible. Wow. This person has intentions on like full blown commitment. They really want the total package but they're keeping that to themselves here um this could be somebody you're not really seeing move towards you at the moment but there is a lot of attraction towards you this person has you on some kind of a pedestal um really nice energy but this is definitely some somebody getting over something someone's already been broken hearted here that's this person Your actions is communication. I feel like this person is waiting for something that is stable, something that is like long-term relationship. They're coming out with really, really good energy, Capricorn. Um, I feel like you're going to hear from this person soon. Or maybe... Mm, maybe you're the one that's going to reach out to this person. I'm not necessarily sure because with intentions, they're not having the intentions of communicating with that. However, there is communication coming. So I'm not sure who initiates it because they don't intend on initiating it, even though they want to. There's a lot of really good cards here showing their intentions with you. And with the justice card, I feel like they want something that's fair, or something that's equal in their life. Lisa of cups at the bottom. How else will you know who this person is? Roll the dice. Take a chance. Risk. Leap of faith. Strategy. I feel this person is taking chances in their life right now. It also feels like you might not trust them. They're not giving me any untrustworthy energy at all. So that might be a personal feeling you have. Heartbreak. They definitely went through some heartbreak in the past. And regret. There's a lot of things that this person is getting over. And that's how you're going to know who this is. What are their intentions towards you? What else are their intentions towards you? Capricorn, they see you as like the total package for real. Dang. Fair male and soulmate. This person could be lighter than dark or complected and soulmate. Great connection, relationship. So it could be a soulmate connection coming in for you. You could be the fair male. They could be the fair male or female. It doesn't matter. One more. Wallflower, this person is withholding, shy. Like I said, there's no intention on moving towards you, even though they have all these feelings for you. So you already have a connection with this person. Advice from spirit. What advice can you give Capricorn with this? I don't feel like this person's going to communicate. Maybe you should communicate if you know who this is. If you don't know who this is, you will soon. They'll tell you all about their ex drama, their things that they've learned and the goals and their healing. They'll tell you all about, all about it. 
strictly sexual. This might be somebody who you have a very strong sexual connection with. This connection is passionate, but not enduring. I don't know. I feel like that might be your feelings. This person's feelings is not that. Don't dismiss the red flags here. Integrity. Does the situation align with their values and morals? I don't know if that's you who wants something strictly sexual because I'm not really seeing this person in that energy. I got to be honest. There could be a level of mistrust. Let me get two more for this person's actions, for this person's energy. That is so aggravating. Decision. It's time to decide about this relationship and different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. So this person wants some kind of commitment and long-term stability, and I don't feel like you're there. And I feel like you might not be comfortable in this situation. I don't feel like you're ready for something like this. And for the Capricorns that are ready for something like this, you got somebody really good coming in. For those of you that are not, you might be on different pages. I know everyone is in different stages in their life, so I can't say that you're not ready. But definitely this person is looking for more than what they're even saying. So that's what I'm getting for you, Capricorn. Moving on to Aquarius. Who's coming towards Aquarius? Someone who's watching you or kind of watching you and maybe they might act like they're not. So that's definitely there. Um, intentions towards Aquarius. Hmm. I feel like this person sees you as potential. However, I don't feel like they're going to approach it that way. Hmm. Actions towards Aquarius. Keeping to themselves. I feel like this is something that you've already been dealing with. This doesn't feel like a new person with that card being there. It's a wheel of fortune is there. And that usually tells me things are on repeat, maybe in a certain situation. So I feel like this is somebody who... Either they watch you very closely and with the five of swords, they don't trust you or they're very untrustworthy themselves. I feel like this person's intentions is to have privacy. However, there's money attached here. So I feel like their intentions is very financially focused. Um, their actions is a high priestess in the wheel of fortune. So it's very much an energy of keeping to themselves again, whoever this is. Clarify the Page of Swords and the Five of Swords. I got repeating energy. So this person might act like they're not watching you, but they are watching you. And they're pretty attracted to you. I feel like they're more darker complected, a darker complected person. I'm getting a female. It doesn't need to be gender specific at all. Okay. This is someone that it's like they're attracted to you. You're attracted to them or something like that, but they're watching you and they're acting like they're not. So be careful. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me clarify the hermit and the 10 of pentacles. This person, I feel like you already know this person. 
because it's there's a contemplation on whether they should stay or go. As their intentions, they're not sure if they want to move away from this or make this successful or not. And I feel like finances have a lot to do with it. I feel like this person might communicate with you. Um, I feel like there's like an exchange here. I don't know if there's kids together. Some of you guys might have kids with this person already. It doesn't need to be that. Um, I feel like you guys have kind of been in circles with this. I feel like this person wants to heal this connection. However, I'm not really sure how much effort they give towards it. So I don't know what the ins and outs are of your specific situation, but this is definitely somebody you've already, you, you already know this person. I'm not getting this as a new person for you. I am getting this as someone you've already dealt with. Let me get the energy of this person. What else is their energy? Social media, they watch you online. Definitely. So, hmm. mask, they are lying to you about something here. I, I believe that they're lying to you about watching your social media. Maybe they're lying about having their own social media. I don't know. And player. So if you know this person to have things going on on the side, and lying about it, they do. They're probably online dating with that. So if this is somebody you're currently in a commitment with, that's that's what's happening. <clears throat> Player, this person has their own life going on. But you got money. I feel like they try to work it out with you on a constant basis. However, they they're at a point where they're just living a double life, whoever this is. Intention, gifts, they love that money. Past love, this is somebody you've already experienced stuff with. Like I said, it's not a new person. And communication, somebody you communicate on a regular basis with. I feel like they want you to give more to whatever situation this is. However, they're not giving their part. They're not doing what they need to do. They're not putting in the effort that they need to put in. This is also coming out with my Wheel of Fortune. It's not always the karmic wheel, but a lot of times it's this is just, okay, let's do it again. And so you just end up doing the same thing again. It's kind of like what it's coming out to, to look like. Advice for Aquarius. <clears throat> Advice for Aquarius. Abundance, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. You're doing really good with your finances. Again, money. I see that. Addiction. An addiction is affecting this relationship. With player and mask, I feel like this person could have addiction to cheating. You think that's not a thing? It is. It is. People could be addicted to attention and needing it from other people. It doesn't have to be that. It could be something else too. Self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. That's what I got. That is what I got. Moving on to Pisces. 
last but not least, Pisces. Okay. Who's coming in for Pisces? Who's coming in for Pisces? Someone could be a little bit defensive, Pisces. That's the energy that they have coming towards you. I feel like there is love in this situation. However, um, this person's defensive. So I don't see bad intentions. I just see defensiveness, maybe having boundaries up. Intentions. Excuse me, I just burped. I hope you didn't hear that all loud on this. I hope. This person has um, conflicting energy. So if this is somebody you've been arguing with or having some conflict with, I feel like that's going to continue. They have intentions on making things better with the Three of Cups and probably reuniting with you, but it doesn't seem like it's for anything other than petty drama. Let me see their actions towards you. Not really knowing how to make something work. So you might be dealing with somebody who might have a lot of love for you, but there's a slight immaturity there. Let's take a look. Let's clarify the two of cups and seven of wands. Yeah, somebody who probably, so I'm seeing there is love between you and this person, so I feel like this is someone you already know. However, there could be a lot on this person's shoulders. There could be a lot that they're defensive about. Um, I feel like they're not at a place where they know how to make things right, maybe not on their own. feel like they're having a hard time gaining their footing on whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish in their life. Intentions. This person could be a little self-focused. So I'm seeing, yeah, love, celebration. I'm seeing re reu reunion for some of you if you're not speaking to this person. But at the same time, they might hold back. I don't feel like they're completely open with you on everything. I feel like they're also very much worried about opening up completely. I don't know why. I don't know why. I feel like they're trying to focus on their own goals. So they might have a different set of goals than you. And I feel like they might not tell you about that. Actions. Working together. You can know this person from work. You could work with this person, but there's like a partnership here that they want to build. There's a foundation of friendship. However, it doesn't seem to move anywhere. I feel like you can feel stagnant in this situation at some point because it's like small progress, but then things stop. How else will Pisces know who this is? This person could be very unsure of things because of their past. They could be having some legal trouble when you meet them if you don't already know them. Now, if you do already know them, they could be going through legal trouble. Or just having a lot of things that they're dealing with and not, know how, not knowing how to deal with them. Party, I feel like <laughs> change, truth. So I feel like this person could reveal some truths to you, but it might not happen just yet because they're still very defensive about whatever it is. I also feel like this person, if it's a new person, this person could be 
moving from not wanting commitment to wanting commitment. Like, it gives me the vibes of having a lot of fun in the past and trying to be more serious and settle down right now. If it's a new person. I don't know why I'm still shuffling this one, but faded meeting just, uh, just says that you're going to meet this person. Um, faded meeting to me is usually not online. It's usually like you'll know this person in person. You'll meet this person face to face somehow. What are their intentions here with Pisces? Short term, brunette female, open relationship. I feel like this person might not be very honest about things with you. I feel like you could find out about a third party. Um, they might not be open about that. There's that's that's what I'm seeing. I don't feel like their intentions are anything that's going to be solid. Mm, sorry. I don't like readings like that. Spirit, any advice for Pisces? What can you tell us about this? Finances, financial challenges are affecting this connection. Jeez, why do I always do that? Okay. Protected, you are safe and divinely guided and trust. It's safe to trust in the situation. Mm. One more. Second chance. This, this relationship deserves a second chance. So with open relationship and short term, it could be that this person has something to confess to you. So if they're not coming to you with an apology with something that has to do with maybe letting other people involved in your business, like having other people's opinions all in whatever it is that you guys are going through, I don't know if that's going to really last. Apology at the bottom of the deck. So Pisces, that's what I'm getting for you. And that concludes the all signs.